Hello? Testing, testing, testing. Okay. So, that's kind of weird. Uh, let me test something real fast. Can you still hear me right now? I know there's a little bit of a delay. I just want to make sure that I'm not echoey and that you hear me. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Sorry about that. A bit of a weird scuffiness there. But eh, that's just how it goes, ain't it? Anyways. <laughs> pardon my camera looking like I've broken my neck there. There we go. So, good morning, everybody. We are back into Subnautica. Let's pause for just a sec here. Uh, last time we were here, we made a whole bunch more of uh, upgrades. We've made a whole bunch more improvements to how things are running. We now have the, as Cat named it, the Fragnaboat, which I'm quite excited. Now we have a super bright and totally camouflage Metal Gear Solid style boat that nobody will ever see coming. It's gorgeous, and I love it. I love every bit of it. But yeah, last time we did a lot of exploration. We found a bunch more good stuff going on. And we are going to keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. And see where we end up. Because now we have more materials to find. Also, we've got a power suit. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, let me know in the chat how y'all have been doing, though. I know it's been a week since we talked last. Uh, I also know that I've been slowly, very slowly, putting up some YouTube clips. And I'm also working on a video in the background to uh, do a review of Ender Lilies. So, hopefully you look forward to that. And I'll make sure I make announcements and all that good stuff when it's out. But for now, let's get back into doing things. Oh, right. We also had this severe problem last time of the uh, the launch platform, which we built, trying to kill us. That, that was an issue. Okay, medkit. Medkit, medkit. Ooh, la, 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 medkit. Ba-dum, bum, bum. Uh, let's see. So, I've got an egg. And the first aid kit, which is always good. I've got some stuff I could probably throw into the, the storage real fast. I'm trying to remember why I had limestone as a uh, selected source. Okay, clear all that out. And that. And that. And I think, at least for now, we will not need the Habitat Builder. So we can put that away. And the Stasis Rifle is too big. I can't put it in there. As much as I wish I could. Oh, actually. Let's do a quick battery check here. Want to put that there. Yep. And repair to... Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and unload. Well, I guess we don't have to unload. We can just do a switch. Let's make sure that we have everything as charged as we can have it. Okay. So we got that good stuff set up. Let's go do some. Let's go do some limestoning real quick. Huh? Yep. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Groovy. So yeah, we're just gonna buy a little time while the batteries recharge and just get some stuff. Rude. 
Oh. I guess there actually wasn't anything rude. It was just me hitting a wall. Could be I got a driver's license for this thing. Or something. I don't know why I had that stuck in my head. <laughs> Seriously, there is so much limestone. Go. I don't even remember why I'm getting the limestone. But it's fine. Hey, boomerang. Swim, you know. Oh, I don't have my scanner. Wait, hold on. There we go. I was mildly annoyed by them. <laughs> I like this music we got going right now. Very chill. So much yellow. Then there's my seam off. speed at which I can travel through this now is just absolutely crazy. Let's see. We can get a little bit more in our bag, I think. Oh, yeah. I still got room. Also, I want to take your advice from last time, Cat, and learn to make the wall mounted locker instead of the super big one. You want some? Come on, come on. Let's fight. You and me, buddy. Ooh, that was weird. Just had a really weird side music change. There we go. So we got some limestone. Let us head back to base for the minute. And see how those battery rechargers are doing. It should be good. Oh yeah, the prawn suit. I still have yet to use that. I've still got all those other batteries. <laughs> okay, let's oh. turn that off. Don't need to kill the battery for any good reason.
All right, so we got lots of copper now. So let's see what we need. We need to make computer chips again. Computer chips require table co okay, copper wire. We'll make that real fast. Okay. So we got that. Titanium ingots. We we don't need one of those right now. We need a plastic ingot, which requires the titanium ingot and lithium. Uh, we also need a lubricant. Which I believe was jeez. What did the what did the lubricant need again? Uh cream vine cream vine seeds. Okay. Alright, so for now, go and store that away, store that away and that. Uh, do I Oh, I actually have plastic and it's sold out. So let me bring that back out then. And my copper wire. Wait, is that the thing that I already made? No, 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 that's not. Okay. It looked like the upgrade station, so I was wondering for a second there. Hey, I have some lubricant. Let's go. Uh, let's see. I thought I do need to clear up my recipes because I see the thing that I don't need is still listed. Where are we at? There it is. Vehicle upgrade console. Do not need. Already have. Okay. Let me turn the, uh, the lithium off for a little bit. It's kind of crazy. Mm. Okay, there's not really a whole lot I can do here at the moment. Actually, there might be. One sec. Let me turn this off and stop wasting power for a minute. Fabricate. There we go. Scan room hub chip. Okay. No, I don't need that stuff right now. Also, you. I turned you off. Why are you still on? Wait, what? When did I? No shot. I never knew I could move these. Or, or I somehow unlocked the ability to move this. I don't know. Ow. What? What did? What was that? You always kid. Well, dang. Gotta admit, for in terms of strategy, this would have been amazing a long time ago. <laughs> so I feel like there actually wasn't anything really down here to use. I mean, it's a pretty cavern, don't get me wrong, but there's, uh, I'm trying to remember if there was anything else even in here, if that was just the end of the line for this. That's fine. I'll leave that camera there. Can I... Oh, 
Okay, good to know. Apparently distance is a real factor here. Here. Let's get us a little bit closer to the direct upwards here. Hey. Right. So camera number two. Or, sorry, camera number one, rather. Materials, pretty much. Yeah. Um... Pretty much anything that I would want to get to, I think, is just too far away at this point for the camera to really be useful. I think it's a cool feature, though, not having to put your stuff at risk. Okay, so yeah, if these take power just sitting here, then I'll, I'll go ahead and just send them back up. I think my method of doing things the way I already was is kind of more useful. But my real question is, how do I charge it? Is there like... Some sort of interactiveness I do here? I don't know. Anyways. Let's take this guy on back over to the place. We won't worry about it for now. Just bearing in mind what you had said before uh, when it comes to making new uh, areas. Our new uh, bases, rather. I'll keep it in mind for that. Here we go. Alright, so first up on the agenda is we are going to be going... Ooh, nice. We are going to be going up to build the gantry. So, down here, and then platform. Platform, please don't kill me. Good aside. Yeah, if the platform kills me, I guess it, it really is just kind of a game over man kind of thing. Yay! I'm not dying. Success. Ooh! That's banger music. Also, I love that if if there are aliens that are actively pursuing me on the game, there is literally nothing else I could do that would be more flagrantly obvious than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> God, that thing is huge. Okay. So next up are the boosters. Okay, that's going to require materials I definitely don't have yet. Heal up real quick. Okay. On to death, yeah, those are fine. That, okay. Uh, Aerogel, I don't have currently. Nickel ore, I haven't discovered yet. Plasteel, I, I do have. Alright, 
Well, we have built the next big thing. I do want to say, with regards to my sea moth, I want to verify before we go diving and, and uh, all that stuff. Because I think I can make the upgrade. For it. Uh, yeah, it says upgrade console, but it's it's kind of really not. Charger, we're good. Modification station. So, Seamoth Death Module Mark II, I think, is the one we already have. I need Plasteel and I need Rubies. Okay. Your part is the wall ball. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Prawn suit. So I got lots of stuff we can get in the prawn suit. But first, let's check out our upgrades. What do we got on the Seamoth right now? We have storage, sonar, death module mark one. Okay. So let's unequip the mark one. And again, Plasteel and Rubies, I think I have those. Oh yeah. I need three Rubies. And... I think, do I have a Plasteel still in my inventory? Or is that in the locker? Silicone, Titanium... There we go. Oh, I, I don't know why I went there. That was silly of me. Whoops. Gonna get an upgrade, upgrade. Oh, there was something else. Uh, hold on. I got all excited. There was something else I needed here. Let's see. So, death module. Mark 2. Okay, so... I Oh, I was confusing the Mark... Oh, I was confusing the Mark 3 with the Mark 2. So I need Magnetite and Enamel Glass. Okay. But luckily, I'm pretty sure I have both of those things. Okay, there's Glass. But it is not enameled. However, there is Magnetite. Uh, nope. I actually have a lot of magnetite. Okay, what does enamel glass need? Because I'm pretty sure I got the materials. That's glass. Enamel glass. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. Gotta go find some stalkers and punch their teeth in. You know, one day I actually will make. Uh, let's see. Gel. Don't I have gel sacks? I could have sworn I picked some up. Hold on. I feel like I I had gel sacks. Maybe, oh wait, maybe it's in the storage on the frag boat.
Bingo. Make it some aerogel. Here we go. Okay. And two aerogels. That was what I needed for the booster. Hey oh. Okay. So I was trying to get the where is it? Where'd it go? Seamoth Def Module 2 requires that. 3 requires that. Okay. So. So I think my, my current question is when it comes to the stalker teeth, do I just go out there and just beat them up? Or like, those are the angry shark dudes, right? Let me make a tight thing and get to clear that out. There we go. Try and open up some space here. Okay. Well, actually, for now, let me put that back into the sea moth just for the time being. All right, stalkers, where are you guys at? The titanium causes their teeth to fall out. Look along the path this way when grabbing debris. So, just to make sure I understand here then, um, me going up to them and beating them, it, beating them up is not going to do it? Aww. I couldn't kind of think of it. These guys are in the kelp forest region. Okay. Oh, to the Cal Forest, I guess. Put that back in for now. Nope. Nope. Just want to get there. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't want to. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. Okay. Mm. Well, let's just set off in a direction because I don't exactly remember where it is. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wasn't it? Was it towards the escape pod? Yeah, 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 because you had to pass one of the four through one of the forests to get to the escape pod. Why am I getting weird staticky sounds? Okay. So they're supposed to be in here somewhere. Or this biome, at least. Okay. Well, I'll take that. That's nice. Rain cold. I cannot. Oh, I can get something from you. What is that? Ooh. I didn't think I was able to get something from those guys.
I'm not crazy, by the way, right? This is the region that they're in. Hydrochloric acid. Where is it? Deep shrooms and salt deposits. Okay. Wait, what is that? Oh. A literal bottle of water. In the ocean. Mm. Oh, do I have a friend? Oh. Man, you got me all excited. go farther into it. Oh, okay, yeah. The problem wasn't that I, I was in the wrong biome. The problem was that I wasn't deep enough into the biome. There we go. Figure out what their teeth look like. Oh. Oh no. Well, that's not good. Okay. Drop that. Wait, is that? Oh, it just kind of did a weird thing. Okay. I don't need titanium. So I'm in the correct uh, part of things now. I can't believe that I can't just beat them. That makes me so sad. Like that feels... That feels ridiculous. That feels like I should be able to... Do, uh, duel them in combat and get it. Stop trying to fight me, just give me your dang teeth. You have to look thoroughly that or use the scanner. Well, I've noticed with the scanner that it does give me uh, icon indications when I find stuff a lot of times. Not all the time, but a lot of times. It's 
definitely feels like the kind of area it would be in. Salt. Yep, there's one. Woo! I think I just needed one. Awesome. Well, let's get back to the base so we can make this. I kind of want to see if I can't... Uh, how big are they? Yeah, let's see if I can't find another one on my way back, though. Just so I can not have to deal with that again. Pretty sure one was all I needed, so it should be fine. Oops. Welcome aboard, Captain. I should really take the modification station and put it somewhere else. Okay. Death to Nemo Glass plus two. Okay. Okay, let's definitely clear up some inventory space. Enamel glass requires glass and the stock gene. Okay. So it was a make another one and oh oh I just have more of that to get rid of too. I gotta say, you know, we were talking about this before, but definitely it felt like, oh my goodness, I really need to conserve titanium because you never know, but I, I am just drowning in this stuff at this point. Take a piece of enamel glass. Don't need that stuff. And a plastic ingot. Pretty sure that was it. Fuel upgrades, modification station. Yep, that's what we needed. Cool. Now we can go even deeper. Hmm. Interesting. We might actually do that. The lightweight capacity tank. Lighter build allows for enhanced maneuverability. Um, hmm. Nine seconds of auction and 180. 
Yeah, you know, I think I'll leave it the way it is. It's fine. Did I have anything to drop there? I do have these things to drop in here. There we go. Alright, so I have that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go jumping out. Man, I'm just so eager to get down deep that I keep wanting to leave before I'm ready. <laughs> Uh, Plasteel and rubies, and then I can make Mark three. so let's do that. Okay, not this one. Okay, here's a ruby. Where'd my... I thought I had enough rubies. Unless, uh, oh, I'm up to there. To there. Three rubies. And then to make a, was it plasteel? Yeah. Okay. Plasteel, and you get medium. Uh, titanium and lithium. Okay. Well, specifically titanium ingot and lithium, but yeah. Ah, oh. is that gonna be the one material I'm actually? I don't have on me. Oh wait, the sea uh, sea moth. Sea moth has stuff in it still. I mean, Seamoth had some stuff in it. That's great, but... Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, lead is not what I needed. Fill these up. I need lithium. Oh, uh -oh lock me up and said lithium. It's a great song, by the way. <laughs> oh, wait. This is, um... Lithium is where I ran into the issue. I didn't have the ability to pummel those rocks for more of it. Yeah, that's the lithium chunk that I'm seeing. Hmm. Well, I guess then too. Let's let's head out and explore here. <laughs> They're big and small ones. Yeah, I the small ones I already got. The big ones are all that's left there at this point. I don't, I actually don't know if using the camera, like, extends my range of scanning or anything. <clears throat> I'm just trying it to see. Doesn't seem like it is. Okay. Oops. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. That's actually really unintuitive. So you just... Okay. Y'all are so loud. <laughs> okay, well, as much as I wanted to just jump straight into the Module 3, it looks like I'm going to have to do Module 2 for now and then get that. I do have the right tools equipped here, I'm not like... Yeah. There we go. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. Alright, well we are going to go on down here. And see what we come across. You know, I have a real particular issue with that particular thing. And that particular issue is that that shelving area never seems to load in until I've hit it. static. I'm not really sure why. Okay, so that's a big lithium. I can't do anything with that. That's a big something that's not lithium. I actually ab bleh, can't talk. I absolutely love that I can go to 500 meters now on this. This is so amazing. That's. That's it. Okay, cool. It will go away. Oh boy. Ah. Ah. <laughs> That was mildly terrifying. And by mildly, I mean, uh, it's getting hot in here suddenly. Listen, this music. Okay, well, I guess I want to back on out of this place for now. There doesn't seem to be anything else I can get to currently. Hold on, hold on. These are new lithiums. I don't think they showed up when I came through earlier. since Sherman cameras does it improve scan range okay uh, if that's the case then I will definitely look into doing that okay it's uh, another big one you man It's, uh, the cameras having a battery charge actually makes a lot of sense in that case. Hmm. What's down here? Oh, that's magnetite. Um, uh, a 
I said I'm gonna get lucky, but nope. So yeah, at least for now, this zone is, I would consider it explored. Unless I'm just getting lost, which is possible. It kind of looks like there's nowhere else to go in there. There's just a bit of materials to pick up and that's it. I also draw from shale. Oh, good to know. I will change that uh, parameter up and see. See if we get something better. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Yeah, let me double check that real quick. Where's my habitat bar? I need to build another locker space. actually have, so I, I should be able to make that. Do titanium and quartz. Type builder can go on in there, drop all this in there. I think this Davis's rifle in there too. It, it just takes up a lot of space. Okay, and I want to make sure I put my C glide back on the control scheme. Okay. So, back to the scan room. And, uh, yeah, let's try this. You said it was shale, okay? Alright. And let us depart and do something experimentally different here. Alright, so Keen's last thing is way down here, and that's fine. What we wanted to look for an entry into the under part, and then we'll station the camera. This is a canyon area. This is. This might lead to something. It leads to some rocks. Um, no, it doesn't actually go down. Dang. There's a good number of deposits there, though, so that's good to keep in mind. Oh. Yep, getting a little too far and fuzzy, I guess. Let's see, a place that I can just deposit this for now. Uh, 
Uh, I do not want the floater things to get on here. I would not be okay with that. Okay. So, we got that camera set up there. Wait. Oh, I forgot I left this camera over here. That's, uh, I'm lucky nothing happened to it. <laughs> Okay. So this is going to be another area that is down. But is this the same area that I was in before? Uh, looks like it's connected. Yeah, there's the workstation area. It's connected. Okay, well, if it's the same area, then I don't need to be in this one. Because I'm not going to get anything of value out of it. Okay. Stock a tooth, stock a tooth. Ooh, da 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 stock the tooth. Ta dum ba dum ba dum. Let's see if I can send this guy out then. And see if it, it will actually return better scans doing this. Let's see. Still looking for a way to get down though, like deeper in here. What? Oh, must have been you. Yeah, the trouble with this big forest is that there's a lot, a lot of, like, chaos and trying to figure out, does any of this even go deeper? Oh, does this go to somewhere special? Uh, no, sadly. Just you guys. But over here, deeper? No, just a bunch of little stuff. I feel like there, there's got to be that thing that I'm missing somewhere. I mean, is this biome actually just surface level and that's it? You fish keep hitting me. Man. Okay. So, looks like 300-ish, I think, is when it starts getting kind of fuzzy. No, well, okay, looks like you could actually push it to like 400. It 
don't think we need to though. Just find a place that I can safely put the camera. Or relatively safely put the camera. Well, that doesn't feel like it's a very welcome party now, does it? Jeez. Okay. Y'all are killing me. You're, well, okay, you're not actually killing me, but... Am I actually going to get chased out of this whole territory by you guys? Kind of feeling like it. Hmm. Let's go do. Let's go deep then and see what we find. This isn't really ideal, but. Yeah, the stalkers do in fact stalk. That is accurate. Bleh. <laughs> Wonder if I can just ram them. Nope. <laughs> hey, this is kind of fun actually. Um. Unfortunately, though, I can't do anything. I think it actually literally just ate my camera. <laughs> okay, I gotta clip this one for later. <laughs> I actually can't do anything with my camera right now. It just. It has it, and it's not letting it go. <laughs> that was such a what? Ah. <laughs> well, I guess I'm along for the ride. <laughs> Well, this is a nice scenic un underwater voyage. Who knew these guys were so hospitable? <laughs> I think probably the funniest part is the fact that they, uh, they couldn't even hurt the unit. Actually, that leads me to wonder, does that mean that they grab it like that, right? What happens when they do that? Do they actually lose their teeth to it? Is that they do? That is ingenious. I take no durability damage, and in the process, I get more teeth. Oh, man. That was actually really cool, though. I didn't, did not anticipate that. Okay, so I need to grab some shale, and then I can do this next upgrade. Thank you, by the way, for the tip on that when it comes to the uh, shale. Because I was really stumped on why I, I couldn't find any. I do that every time. I don't know why I don't just come down here. Okay. Let's see if we can get some lithium. There's the lithium. Wasn't there another one that was like right here? Oh, there's one. Ooh, diamond. Watch out. This is where 
And that's the kind of plants that those stupid shooter plants live in. And the sake of, uh, for the sake of time, let's just go ahead and do some more. Ooh, that pace dropping. Materials. The what I need though isn't showing up very much. Man, that's you. Get out of here. I want you. Okay, let's grab this one, and then we'll get back to uh, Seamoth. So many diamonds. I just want a lithium, but I didn't seem to be really in the cards. That's all the lithium I need. Let me make sure before I go leaving. I need to make a plastic a plasteel ingot. And that requires two lithium. So yeah, we're good. Okay, back uh, to the base. You know, it's so weird it does that barrel roll, because I don't do that. The game just does that on its own. Okay. Here. Woo! Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, it only took a little over an hour, but we're about to get our upgrade on. Titanium ingot. Cool. Cool. Need a titanium ingot. I need that out of here. All right. Let's get to building. So. Oh, I'm gonna grab one of these two. Can never hurt to have those. Plus still ink it. Oh, I'm I'm actually really, really, really excited for this. I can't wait to see how deep uh, we can go after making this next uh, modification. This is gonna be wild. Ooh, to maximum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ultra high capacity. Uh, I need a more lithium for that, but that's okay for now. Let's make sure that we've got enough space to properly loot and plunder the whole ocean, because we were about to be doing that. Cat, you mentioned this before. Maybe I should bring my habitat builder with me. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's kind of gruesome. Oh, wait. I know what I want to build. I know what I need to build. I need to build a beacon. Captain Planet would have a word. <laughs> Copper and titanium. Okay. Easy enough. Should have some materials still for that. Copper, titanium. Yeah, I want to take a beacon with me so that way when I get way out to wherever it is I'm going, I can um, drop that and be like, this is a good location that I want to build a base in the future. Because you're 100% right. I definitely am going to have to start building another base because while I love this base, I've done a lot with it. And also, it, it's really far from where I'm going to have to go. Alright. What's the drum roll number? 900 meters. Woo! Alright, so we're saving real quick on that. Um... We could take that off of the list of upgrades. You don't need that on there now. Definitely gonna want that uh, perimeter defense system though when I can get it. And that really requires polyaniline and wiring kits. Uh, what does the wiring kit require again? I'm trying to keep track of all this is just wild. Wiring kit, silver ore. Okay, that's easy. And polyaniline requires gold. Have that. Easy enough. And hydrochloric acid requires deep shrooms and salt, deplo salt, salt deposits. Okay. So we need to be on the hunt for salt deposit. Uh, not salt deposits. Jesus. Uh, deep shrooms. Which definitely means we want to have the cutter with us. Okay. Huh, I'm actually kind of nervous because we're, we're about to go in there. All right, fam. We are going to be searching for the way down. All systems online. Uh, actually, you know what? Hold on. One, one more thing to do real fast. I wanted to turn off the scanner because that's going to get really aggravating to deal with. Oh, there's, there's the hatch. Okay. Yeah, the last thing I want when I'm going into unknown deep territory like that is to just be inundated with things like that. So, first objective, 300 meters, life pod 19. I have not done that one yet, to my knowledge. So, we're heading over there. Let's go! Sorry. It's just like a little grotto. It's not anything special. Ah. Okay. This area is very, very large. I'm trying to remember. I feel like I started to come this way before and then I didn't. 
but I don't remember why I stopped. I don't know if it was inventory or if it was stream time or what. Oh man, this area is massive. Okay. Wait. We have done this. One, skin super thoroughly. Two, probably park fairly far away from it. I... I swear that we've been to that life pod, or we've been to one like it. Sure. I mean, if we have been, if we have already been to this one, I wouldn't be surprised. Because I really do feel like we've done this one. And it looks pretty empty. Yeah, if memory serves correctly, this is the one that, that stuck. This is the one where there was a wreckage above it that I needed to get. Oh, creature eggs. Ooh. Lithium. I already scanned these things, whatever these are. Eye stocks. Uh, okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So yeah, clear that one off the inventory. I've I've been there before. Unfortunately. Ooh. But down here. This is something I have not been to before. This game sometimes. I mean, my assumption is that that's like a thermal vent. But it's. Hmm. Well, maybe that's the indication that I need to get that advanced uh, suit. Okay, I'll add that to the list. Um, synthetic fibers, which... Tiger, tiger plant. Behind me. Uh, mm, one of those things again. I really hate those things. So much. Uh, let's see. Oh. What if I can run it over? Or maybe. Okay, that's actually really cool. Um, yeah, let's come over here away from the tiger plant then. You guys. Really? Uh, they're just like doing everything they can to make this spot as unpleasant as they can, huh? Okay, let's see what this is about. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. 
The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled from the into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Peepers. What? What are peepers? Uh, let me see if I can find what the peepers are again. Oh, it's so hard to read. Peeper. Oh, these guys. So, okay. Just a little fun, weird fact thing, I guess. So that was the primary reason to be here. environment how the heck did it attack me gel sacks uh, oh. that actually looks important oh, you freaking tiger plant mm. I'm coming for you oh that didn't kill it like I thought it would. However, I did get its seed. <laughs> Trade off, I guess. <laughs> I hate it here. There. There we go. Okay. Gel sex. Is it? Oh, okay. Thanks for that, love. Let's see. Huh? What like that? Table coral. Uh, need the ruby. Gel sex. Oh, I forgot to scan it again. There we go. Go. Definitely want those. Anything else to scan down in here? This is always kind of empty space, so no. Definitely having lots of aerosol to use, so that's good. Alright. These guys are kind of wild to look at. <laughs> So let's check our inventory here. We've got plenty of spaces. We have the table corals. I don't need these. I was just doing that sheerly out of vengeance. Okay. So that was unexpectedly cool, though. OK. 
Okay. That's a hard to hit. There we go. Okay, so... This vent does, unfortunately, as cool as it is, doesn't actually lead me to anywhere in the end. And yeah, I know there's more rubies and stuff. I don't need them right now. And I don't want to uh, clutter my inventory. Things just throwing themselves at me here. Oh, what is this? Blood oil. What? Uh huh. Ghost weed. Uh, that's a really abrupt music shift. Huh. I'm intrigued, though. What are you? As they said to me once upon a time. That doesn't look very friendly, though. relatively fearless in this game but just that music change is like whoa first thing in this game that I've actually come across that worked like that. Heard it through the blood vine. Okay, so now I can make benzene, whatever I use that for. Uh, let's see. Let's get a bearings check here. We are... Oh man, we are pretty far away actually from there. Okay. I think this is going to be a good place to drop a beacon. So let's go ahead and equip that on there. Yeah, given how very far this is, I feel like this is an excellent place to do something like dropping a beacon though. Let's see. Let's go to the uh, more towards the top ish of this area and see what we got. Oh, you are different. What are you? Um, I don't know. I can't seem to scan you for whatever reason. Okay. Yeah, we'll drop you right here. And... Where's the name thing? There it is. Um... Hmm. Probably want to name this one... Uh... 
Let's go with deep one. Just as like a way marker indication. I think it'll work for that. Definitely hitting a uh, a much different biome here, and I gotta say that the gamer in me is just like, where am I on the map? What's the map like here? How far away is it on the map? And it's just like, yeah, this doesn't have a map, and I struggle with that every time I play this game. <laughs> what the? Oh no. No. I know nothing to do with you. Is there anything else actually of interest here, I wonder? A known fish? Uh, hey, you. Try to scan you. Oh, you are wild. That's just points. Okay. You know what's actually really hilarious is that the computer Welcome was like, Captain. this will stimulate seven out of nine things to invoke terror. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And then things like this show up, and I'm like, yeah. You are very right. So, I remember you telling me in private chat, Cat, that there were things that really didn't like electricity, and I kind of feel like I found it. Ooh, far out, man. Dave Shrooms. I don't remember how many of those I need, so we are going back to our roots. And we are just grabbing a bunch of them. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, seven, I think, is too many for now. So, yeah, we'll drop that there. Thanks for catching that, by the way. Oh, I want to scan that guy so bad, but I'm I'm pretty sure that he's just like gonna kill me if I get too close uh, Let's let's make it our way around him If we can I don't know just got dicey either way Scan you actually. Huh. That was neat. <laughs> I need to ow. Listen here, you. Mm. You guys the same ones as on shore? No. No, you're not. Neat. Okay. Let's get back on in the ship. Well, that's really cool that we found the, uh, the deep shrooms now. So that'll help us continue to progress farther. Uh, this is definitely a new material, but I don't know if there's any that's small enough. Oh, wait. There's one. Uh, 
Yes, got him. And now? Come on. <laughs> Victory! Ooh, you're in a you're in the night. Noise. Uh, hi. You know, you guys are a lot bigger in person now that I'm not in the same with. Oh, there's another one. I don't know what I need those for, but I am grabbing them when I can see them. Oh, my inventory is full. Oh, crap. Uh, let's see. What are you? I, I hear you, but... Oh, this is one of you guys. I'm just over here like Meteon. What are you? <laughs> Okay, well, that just gave me a whole bunch more space, so that's good. And we got room to drop. We'll, we'll put these in there. Okay. You know, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if it's more terrifying to be down here in the Seamoth, which isn't terribly durable, or if it's more terrifying to be down here in the prawn suit. Where you don't have the ability to escape, essentially. Okay. Synthetic fibers. For the suit. That required. Let's let's go back here for a second. Requires one synthetic fibers, two diamonds, and two titaniums. Okay. So, to make the synthetic fiber requires fiber mesh and benzene. I have enough blood oils for one benzene, so I can make that now. Uh, have, I have deep shrooms, and then I do also have salt. So, I can make the hydrochloric acid. I have gold, so I can make the polyaniline. I think this is actually probably a, a good time to go back to base. I don't have any use for this y uranite yet. That doesn't mean I can't collect it. Although I want to... I feel like there's got to be at least one more material here. And I want to see what it is before I head back. I'm just a little skeptical to the fact that this is the only material here. Man, you bunch of angry boys up in here. Also, correction of what I said. It's not the only material here. There's also the, uh, the blood oil, but... Like mineral material. I just want to make sure that there wasn't another thing that I'm missing. You know, I was thinking about this earlier, hearing these guys, and they they remind me of the gremlins from 14. Ooh, ooh, looking into that deep water. Well, nothing venture, nothing gain. Okay. That is not the same material. Actually, hard to tell. It might be the same material. Let's verify that we're clear to disembark here.
Let me see. Okay, yeah, it's just gold. Weary wanderer, no fight left to fight, no life left to live. It's almost a shame that they gave such cool lines to just that gremlin because that's like some of the most haunting, mocking stuff right there. Whoa. Hey, game. Don't do that, please. Fuck. That's a ruby. What? Hey. Rude. Oh, that's not good. Um. I just got literally yeeted there. Huh. Well, before I go to uh, Diane, worth asking you, because you've played through this game before, uh, what just happened to my Seamoth? Like, is it just gone out of existence? No, like, where did it go? It's still there. It's you that moved. Oh, okay. First encounter with one of those. I, I didn't know if it just, like, stole that thing out of existence entirely or what happened. I mean, I just said that it was a warp. Ooh. Just like, I understood that, like, it's a warper. Like, I, I know I've scanned them before. I just didn't know what they warped. <laughs> Again? Stop it. No. Can I slash you, I wonder? It's kind of tempting. We're doing the dance over here. Oh. I see. That's how you do it. You cheeky butt. <laughs> Remarkable lack of self-preservation. I mean, I'm a robot. What is there to preserve? Data? Although, actually, speaking of lack of self-preservation, let me look up what I need for the defense system. Polyaniline and wiring kit. Your your sea moth. What do you mean? Are you afraid of the fact that I was like gonna make a a, a run for the surface? Oh, what do I have to preserve? <laughs> well, I suppose that's fair. Oh, I can make the power cell charger. Nice. I mean, I don't really need it yet, but good to know. <laughs> okay. Ooh, there's a wreck down here. Oh, you. I gotta be so rude, man. Uh. What? Where are you? You're annoying me. 
I don't even know what was warping me. I, I couldn't even see him. Anything interesting other than the big electric eel guy? <laughs> Ooh, I'm not comfortable with that at all. Yeah, we're gonna move. We're moving. Oh, and he's chasing me. Bloody heck. You're cool looking, but not not a fan. Oh come on. Okay. Hey. Need to repair. I know we've talked before about like the scariness factor of this. I think the concept of having to uh, get out of the ship to repair it is probably the scariest part to me. I want to skin you, man. Nope. Nope. I heard you. I will take that hit to my hole over that. Screw you. Hmm. Oh, there's more of those worms, oh boy. Oh, this area is so pretty. Whoa. It's so green. Scan, scan, scan. Uh, just deep shrooms? Really? No, oh, this is scannable? Huh. Just quartz and mm. Ooh. I mean I'm very intrigued, but also I'll go to Lost River. It's an un this is really cool. It's an underwater river that's underwater. It's like, how else do I describe it? It's weird, but cool. Oh. Uh. It's called Brine. Ah, uh, uh, I got stuck. I saw, I saw you. Where'd you go? Hmm. So, I'm intrigued at an ecological level then. So, the Lost River is brine, but this is all, like, ocean. It's all, you know, salt-based to some degree. That's not new material. Okay. Oh, just to rewind it back for a second. By the way, cat, I gotta say, uh, when you are quoting, Brian is super salty water. It's a real thing, huh? Yeah, just to run it back for a quick second. When you were quoting the gremlin, you literally couldn't have timed that better, considering I just got attacked by the warper. <laughs> that was peak timing. No, I was waiting for it. I could hear it. 
Well then, well played. So there's... There's not really anything new here. This is all gorgeous, but like... I'm not finding the materials that I was wanting. Although, to be fair, if um, there's anything to go off of, I actually would love to build the base here. This would be amazing to have a base in. My only problem though is I would need thermal power, but given the name of these being Pyra Coral, my presumption is over there you've got uh, volcanic vents that you can build on. Sounds you never forget to play this game. Yeah. Ooh. I am so far off of the beam path right now. I have no idea how to get back. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, we ended up like directly under where the base is. And now we have a radio entry. Sure is a shame that there's no radios anywhere nearby. Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. <laughs> oh, it is hot. Good to know. I should probably read things like temperature gauges before just jumping out. Woo! Okay. So, yep, that's my thermal vent I was looking for. Actually, there is something that I want to look at real fast on my inventory. Uh, radiation suit doesn't. Okay. I wondered if it would say, like, what temperatures are acceptable. Because I don't want to risk getting out of the ship again and then dying, you know? And this is really cool. Okay, so a couple of really cool things. One, that's a really big snake. Two, that's a really big skull. Um, I come in peace? Question mark? You know what actually would be smart is let's go up. And see if we can locate a way to actually get back to the surface. Instead of continuing this deep dive for now, we know this area is directly underneath the, the base. So let's see if we can't make our way back up. And in doing so, we'll be able to find another way to check stuff out. Nice. Yeah. You know, that's a good point. Saving is a good idea. Alright, so I found nickel. Now I just need dimes. <laughs> that's pretty much the reaction I expected I was going to get from you. Diamonds there. Um, 
Just one piece of coral? Oh, I bet it's because... Well, no, wait. All of this is volcanic in nature. So I just need to be... I need to carefully look at these. Yes. What a wild structure system, though. This is really pretty. Okay, there's two nickel. I now have a diamond. <laughs> Let's try and stay inside of this structure. Hey, nice. And there's my three. That's what I needed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Outstanding. And now with that, uh, once I can get back, I have rubies and I have plasteel. So I should be able to make, what was it? I've got it pinned on here. The defense system, wasn't it? No, wasn't the defense. Uh, oh, the prawn suit. Okay. But yeah, this is, this is now the challenge is how do I get back up? That's fine. Minor damages. Also, can I scan this? Nope, I cannot. Okay, back into the vessel. Yeah, we're going to try and stay up, though. Just so that way we can hopefully avoid the ire of the big, big beastie. Say hopefully, because we don't know if that's going to work. But we can just try. Let's see. Okay, so you got diamond, you got chunks of whatever that is. It's not necessary. Okay. That doesn't go up like I hoped it would. dice on that. Yeah, I'm not really looking for more material right now unless it's a unique material that I don't already have. Because right now my focus is just trying to get back to base in some fashion. sound really loud, but where are you? Uh, huh. Well, okay. So I get things too twisted around. The proposed Degasi is over that way. So, let's see if we can get there. I suppose. Ooh, you are pretty. But please don't hurt me. Okay, lots of manta ray types. Don't know if they're friendly. They probably aren't, because it seems like nothing down here is friendly. This will be fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I'm just a small boy, nobody loves me. <laughs> okay, there's nothing to scan. Huh? I'm rather curious what I want to see here. I'm trying to be. No. Stop it. Huh. So the Degasi habitat ended up being here. Interesting. Also, hello. You made this your home, didn't you? Of course you did. Say you're not friendly is about an understatement of the century. Yeah. Huh. Now how do I go about this? an EMP ability. Oh no. Huh. Oh. And a warper. I saw you. Well. So you go for it. PDA. <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. Crab squid. I'm just getting you. Holy cow, that took a long time to scan. Oh no, he parked close. <laughs> Valet parking. This large predator can be found in deep waters where it lurks amongst the blood kelp and membrane trees in search of prey. It can deploy a powerful electromagnetic pulse to defend itself. Limbs. Ten limbs feature different appendages for swimming, walking, hunting, and possibly even tool use. Creatures caught in its grasp were expertly butchered and quickly consumed. Oh. Good thing I was uh, scanning it at point blank range. Behavior. Rays and other illuminated herbivores are its usual prey and will approach and attack any light source in the vicinity. Oh. Its AMP blast was likely developed as a response to predation by creatures with electrical hunting mechanisms. Intelligence. While crab squids appear to have large brains and a resemblance to the intelligent squids of Earth, the organ inside the creature's head is in fact its stomach, which it must fill with startling regularity. Assessment. Neutralizes electrical equipment. Lights attract its unwanted attention. Okay. Well, this is why you said it'll be fun. Because I was rolling up with the freaking uh, high beams on in a place that, does, that says no lights after dark. Okay. Good to know. You? No. You leave my ship alone. I have scanned you. I am now leaving. Okay. Maybe I'm not leaving. At least not yet. On the other hand, if I go dark and down some, should be fine actually. Also, we're, we're saving real fast before I make an epic blunder here. Okay. There's a thing. Oh, my, my lights were someone screwed me over just there. There we go. Anything to scan? There's a, oh, PDA. Please 
Nice. Stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, man. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. I think there was another one I just picked up too. Was yeah, there is the end. Came out of nowhere, an alien kraken bigger than a cyclops tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her, I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat, and the monster turned and bore down on me. Just as its tentacles came within reach, Maynard appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light. Deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Dang. Oh, man. Well, that just inspires a lot of confidence in me who uh, has no more health kits to heal with and uh, does not know how to get up. Okay, the box. What? Wireless is charges your held tool while you swim. Oh, that. Hey, you said that I wasted materials making that extra set of fins. Who's laughing now? Ha <laughs> ha. On the other hand, I don't know how I'm getting back to my base. So, yep. Ooh, coffee maker. Wait, I think carry all. Is that just, uh. Oh. Nah. Don't need it. Just takes us space. Okay. Anything in this little segment? No? Uh, I saw you. Okay, and into the boat we go. And uh <laughs> No, no no no. No. Stop that. Okay, you were down there, I'm going up here. So real question, let me give try at least and get my bearings. More floors. Base has more. Oh. Okay. So, Frag Nation. I want to turn that one red so I know where it is easier. The base has more layers, huh? Nyet. Nyet, I say. Oh, son of a... Why? Leave me alone. Um, 
Oh, you bitch. Uh, Sea Moth. Sea Moth? Doko? I don't know if exploring those places is the right method right now. Honestly, no. No, it's not. Executive decision. I'm out of here. Trying to navigate while blind is a bit of a pain in the butt, though. Got to say. Okay, so there's got to be some way to get up there. That's the thing that's bugging me here. Having just a single entrance into this cavern doesn't seem very, oh, very feasible. But I could be wrong. Ew. Yeah, this, this is just not looking good right now. Haha. <laughs> But I have lots of battery power. Uh, oh, you know what? I keep forgetting that's a thing. I'm, you know, I would love to go up. That's kind of the point of what I'm trying to do. It's almost like there isn't a way up. It's crazy. Or I just haven't found it yet, which is very possible. Oh. Well. I want to be right back. I've been needing to use the restroom for a little bit. And that's, um, uh, yeah. Be right back.
Okay. We are back. Um, the game apparently completely crashed. And we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, th this port has done that a few times now. We're going to log back in to see where we are. But I think in terms of quality for the stream, uh, we'll probably go ahead and end it here. I just wanted to see if it worked. But we'll end it here for a continuity sake. That way there isn't this long gap at the end of the stream. Oh, that's cute. I didn't notice that before. It's got a little icon showing what uh, special units you've got unlocked. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing uh, 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency what? greatly decreased. What? What is happening? <laughs> Welcome aboard, okay. Captain. Let's let's do a very fast recap. Uh, uh data downloads, the Gossy survivors. Return to the deep, habitation, packing order, deeper. Okay, so we don't have seven, which is the end. I know, I know, oh, three was the end. I think there, I'm pretty sure there was another log after that though, wasn't there? So I feel like that. Yeah, hold on. Let me go up and check again. Okay. In inside. Okay. Data box. Okay, good thing I checked this again. Got the swim charge fins. The PDA. To carry all that has nothing in it, so it's not carrying anything. Okay. The booze. Okay. So that's all that was in this part of the base. Into the sea moth. Save again. Now, let's just see what we got. So that's the top of this place, this base. And I'm going to start. What? Um. What the heck just happened? Game, what? Ganked by what though? There was nothing around me. Yeah, okay, there was a warper. I saw him appear, but did he like just pop up behind me or? Um. Hold on. Yes, that's what they do. Well, that's the first time they successfully did it, so hats off to them, I guess. And 
that was annoying though. Like I literally saw him, and I was like, okay, that's fine. And then I guess it must have been the second one, is what it was. Okay, we're going down. We are looking. Okay, I see you. No. There's the warper. Woo! That was cool. Oh, hey, hey! I don't even have my power on, bro. Okay, so you said that there's another level to this place. I failed to see it, and there are enemy squid things everywhere. This is gonna be a, a scrub save, by the way. I'm doing some exploration, but I am not going to save, and I'm definitely going to reload later. Oh, that's the second entrance you were talking about. Gotcha. Oops. No, 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 no. Cool. So now I have that. I still can't get back to the base, but we have one of the most important things I needed in the game, though. Where is it? Alien containment provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna at a hatched enter. Oh, wow, that takes a lot of glass. resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. It means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torigal has disembarked the habitat. Bart! Come in, it's dangerous. Damn it, boy, I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Oof. She said that there's a down ladder too. Okay. Oh, there it is. Nice. Nuclear waste disposal. Hmm. Well, that's handy. That's a PDA. Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stand chat if you'd like. 
No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord? Or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every <laughs> court in the damn Federation. <laughs> Gotta love that uh, malicious compliance right there. I'm done. Screw this. I got... Oh. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that either, but that's okay. Um... I already said it before that I wasn't going to save. So, yep. We're going to go ahead and end the stream here. I got stuff to get done today, and that was just kind of annoying. It was cool to get that information and to get the thing I needed, and then that. Um, I don't know if I even want to, to be honest, but what does it take to rebuild this Seamoth? Requires ingot, power cell, glass, lubricant, lead. God, that's so much materials though that it it'll be wasted to get. No, okay, I'm not gonna. I'm going to the easy materials. I. I I mean, it's worth it's worth asking the question though. The materials I want to use for it, will I need those for anything else? And also, if I go down with the sea moth to find the other sea moth, what do I do with the first sea moth? And not to mention, it's not even just about the materials for the sea moth. It's also they are uh, very difficult to get materials for the. Uh, as the uh, modules. I mean, if I had a Cyclops. But as it stands, I don't have anything for a Cyclops. So, yeah. We're going, to, we're going to end the stream. Thanks for coming along. Uh, we are going to re reload that save when we get back next time. And hope for better luck dealing with these dang warpers. Who were not a problem whatsoever until some of they were. Anyways though. Angela Frydenrock signing off on another episode of Synodica. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe below if you end up liking this and got all the way through it. And look forward to a bunch of funny clips coming in the future from these episodes. Yeah, that's the that's the thing, Cap. They just... I saw them, and then apparently they can go through walls too, which I guess, now they say it a lot, makes sense. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Uh, check my channel on YouTube. I'm going to be uploading more clips and more funnies as I go along. Working on the Ender Lilies video. And until the next time I see y'all, you have a great one. And I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.